Good morning everyone and welcome to day five of our Egypt trip. Not gonna lie guys, it is very early in the morning. It's currently 25 past four and we are heading off to Abu Simbel today. So we have a four hour drive there on a coach. We then are exploring for two hours and then we have a four hour trip back, which is why we have to start so early. But yeah, we're definitely feeling it. Very, very tired. I'm gonna take some pillows with me to hopefully sleep on the bus while I can. But yeah, that is the plan for today. We need to head off now though, because we are leaving at half past four and yeah, I'd rather just get down there with enough time. So I will talk to you at some point, probably not for a few hours though, because I feel like I do need to sleep. But yeah, that is the plan for today. And I'm definitely excited. I'm just very tired at this point in time. Right guys, we have made it to Abu Sembel. It is beautiful here already. We haven't even seen anything. Look at the views behind me. Yeah, the four hour coach journey wasn't fun because um, I have a dodgy stomach, so I had bad stomach cramps. But other than that, it was great. So yeah, I feel a lot better now which is fantastic and yeah we're gonna go to the temple we're gonna go inside first and take pictures later because Hadi said they get really busy so yeah we're just gonna do that first and then I will chat to you guys when I can so we're on our way to the temple which is just down this road but this is Lake Nasser which is the largest man-made lake according to Hani and yeah it's very beautiful so I thought I would show you guys I feel like the camera won't do it justice, but yeah, it's such a pretty view. This is such a lovely place. I feel like the temple is just gonna blow us away. And again, <laughs> very pretty. <laughs> and again, I keep saying it, it doesn't feel real. <laughs> I've just heard everyone kind of ooing and eyeing, so I feel like we are here. I don't wanna see it without you guys though, so let me see. Oh my gosh, yeah, ooing and eyeing. Oh my gosh. That is huge. I will obviously give you guys a closer view in a minute, but look at this. This is just insane. Can you imagine if it was just, it was just tiny? Like, it's just a big sandcastle. <laughs> no, it's big. <laughs> this is massive. I'm like, oh, you'd be gutted if you were that one, wouldn't you? <laughs> like, damn. <laughs> the one that doesn't have a head or a body anymore. Just the legs. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> likes to be proud of. <laughs> right guys, we are walking into the temple. Again, you just can't comprehend the detail that is on these statues. It is insane. We've got Horus up there as well and Ra. Yeah, it's just absolutely crazy. So we're gonna go in first because apparently it does get quite busy. As you can see, there are so many people here already. But yeah, I'm just gonna give you guys like a quick glimpse of the outside I will come back out later and take pictures and stuff like that but it's just insane <laughs> there's birds in there whoa that's amazing oh we're being rushed guys we're being rushed we're too slow <laughs> oh avoid the people taking pictures no <laughs> Do you think about that? Like, how many pictures are we in? Just in the background or something? Oh, yes. Was that oh. in a random, like, true crime documentary um, as well? That, yeah, like, you could have, so, like, thousands upon thousands of pictures yeah. that you don't know about of you online Ooh. right now. Isn't that why AI is, like, so easy? Because yes. there's so many pictures of you, like, already there. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'd want a picture of me like this, to be fair. I feel like something like this would be very cool. Wow. Isn't it crazy how they've done this? Like, how could he do this thousands of years ago and build it so that the light hits a, a specific place yeah, but, yeah, twice every year? Imagine if the light just, like, it <laughs> just doesn't work. It. Like, imagine if they just, like, did the whole thing and then the light just didn't work. Like, oh my God, or, like, it wasn't, like, in the right spot. Like, what would they do? What would they do? I don't know. So, I mean, they could move Probably it. Probably cry. Could They'd be like, I'm building another one. Oh, hey. Hello. Friends. Friends. <laughs> oh, you found an empty one. It's so hot in here though. Yeah. It's disgusting. This is wrong. This is a me size room, I think. Yeah. I don't I, have to crouch. I'll put in the bed. Yeah, <laughs> bunk bed over there. Yeah. <laughs> this is so cool. I just love all the art. Okay. It's so interesting. Gavin, your outfit matches the vibe anyway. Yeah. It's yes. the same kind of colour. <laughs> <laughs> you are meant to be here. I and everyone that. says you look Egyptian, so there you go. Exactly, I do, I blend in. <laughs>
This is interesting, but it is very squished and very hot in here. We've got some more statues. Do you think this is the practice run? <laughs> So we have now made it out of the first temple. I'm not gonna lie guys, it was so hot in there, it was disgusting. So we've come out, we've had some fresh air, and now we're going over to the second temple, which is just here. I believe that this temple was for Ramesses' wife. And yeah, we obviously have more images here, more imagery. They've placed themselves here as gods. They've put the gods beside them as well to give them more power and I guess to cement their reign and to tell the local peoples, the poor people, I suppose, that not only are they the king and queen, but that they are also Fun. gods and immortal and very, very important. But yeah, again, it's so impressive. I feel like the scale isn't quite as impressive for these ones. Again, it's obviously like <laughs> insane, but yeah, the four men over there were just something else. And then this is so beautiful as well. I'm hoping that it's a bit less busy in here, but that may be wishful thinking, we'll see. I'm definitely prepared to get hot though, so the hair's up. <laughs> and yeah, we'll see what it's like inside. Okay. So again, similar design. We have the columns with the faces on them rather than the statues themselves but again very very impressive as I was saying before this isn't as grand as the other one obviously but it's still so so impressive it's not half as busy in here it still is but yeah there's definitely more room to move around and to actually see the depictions of the scenes on the walls and things like that and obviously the hieroglyphics but yeah look at this it's just so pretty, isn't it? I absolutely love it. Again, the skill and time it would have taken, and effort, of course, to make these is just insane. And yeah, I'm really glad that they did do it, of course, so that I can, you know, be here today seeing it. But yeah, it's definitely a feat in itself and very, very impressive. And that is it, guys. We are leaving. So I've got two of the temples behind me. We've had such a lovely time. We have just taken like 10 minutes sitting down to take it all in outside because I feel like you're always in a rush here. Like you need to see everything and because there are so many people around, it's really difficult to have that time. So yeah, I'm really happy that we did manage to do that because yeah, definitely needed it. And I want to remember as much as I can off this trip as well. So yeah, I'm so, so happy that I came, that I'm feeling a lot better as well. And yeah, that I'm with a fantastic group of people as well who are just making this trip even more special so we're heading off now to meet the others we kind of broke away in groups not intentionally but yeah it just kind of happened so we're gonna meet up with the others at the meeting point which is a cafe haven't eaten anything yet and it's about 10 o'clock not sure if I'm gonna eat something <laughs> we'll see but I definitely want to drink and yeah I just want to sit down for a minute in the fresh air and catch up with everyone and yeah look at all the photos and stuff so that is what I'm doing now and I'll check in with you guys once something a little bit more interesting happens. guys it's now the next day I actually can't remember what day of the itinerary we're on can you are we like day six? Oh my gosh I'm so confused but anyway I didn't really film a lot last night because yesterday was a very chill day after Abu Sembol we came back we decided to go straight in the pool which is what we did and then we went out for dinner as a group last night as well and then came back and had some cocktails that was all so lovely I'm glad we got some time together to just chill because it was definitely needed I feel like we haven't had time to ourselves which is great because we're here in Egypt and we want to see everything but yeah, I feel like getting the opportunity to enjoy the hotel, enjoy the pool, 
pool, have some drinks, just be together as a group and not have to be constantly doing something was just really, really nice. And so, yeah, I didn't really want to film anything because one, we weren't really doing anything too interesting. And two, as I said, I wanted to be in the moment and just spend time with everyone, which is what I ended up doing. But today is unfortunately our last day in Aswan. We are about to go and board a Felucca, which is a sailboat here in Egypt. It's from the Pharaonic Times, which is very exciting. And that's where we're all going to be sleeping tonight as well. So we have 20 hours aboard the Felucca today, which yeah, it's definitely going to be a lot, but I am excited for it. It's going to be another really cool thing to do. And yeah, we are on it 12 p.m. today. So I think at half 11, we need to go down. It's almost time to go down now, actually, I think. Let me just check my phone. Yes, yeah, 20 past 11 now on the 6th of November and we need to head down to reception but I thought I'd just give you another little glance at the view because I am gonna miss this so so much. I don't know how well you can see it from this camera because it doesn't like zooming in all that much but yeah it's just absolutely breathtaking and I'm just glad that I got to experience it but yeah we are gonna head off now but I wanted to kind of update you guys because like I said I haven't spoken to you in a long time but yeah we were pretty pooped after the 3 a.m wake up so yeah we're gonna head off now and go on the boat which is gonna be an experience and yeah i'll update you guys once something else happens um so ours is this big yacht over here <laughs> i wish it's actually this little one i feel like it's mean putting us next to this yacht because yeah our boat is tiny this is our boat okay. shoes, shoes off, off. Oh. i'm gonna take them off when i get up there i think <laughs> thank you Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to put my socks on straight away. Oh, I was prepared. Yeah, I wasn't. I am not wearing socks and sandals. Cool. Oh, Let's get on it. Okay, thank you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm not filming anything. I can't do it. <laughs> I, I thought I would do this Hello. before. Hello. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, are we in the, oh, we might fall into the water. Are we doing a circle or are we like, I just, you're a bit yeah. Lines and lines. Lines and lines. We have to crouch this whole time. So our luggage is over there. It's going in the hold. And this oh, yeah, my is where we are. This is actually a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> so we've got like our day stuff here just in case and we've got a pillow and this is where we are now for 20 hours. <laughs> what a beautiful view of the Nile. <laughs> we are blocked in on all sides by other boats. Um, this is fun. <laughs> It's because the Felucas can't steer. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. there's something where... Yeah. It's just the wind. It's just the, just wind. the wind. So we get blown in <laughs> whichever direction. It's good luck, I suppose. Woo. Did we survive? Are we all intact? Did we make it out? Are we good? I like how you're just completely unbothered. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful view once more. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys. Woo! <laughs> right, so we are all sharing some sweets from our different countries. 
and yeah, we're just gonna try a bit of everything, I think. What have you got? Oh, is that sour? It's like a winder. It's like a winder. Oh yeah, I wanna try Tim Tam, please. Anyone wanna try a fruit by the foot? A fruit by the foot? Yeah, it's like, it's like it's a fruit That looks yeah. disgusting. Yeah, that's, that's a fruit wine. <laughs> try? Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, I don't like that. Oh, oh, I don't know what time is there <laughs> Thanks, Gavin. Thank you. What flavor is that? It's Murray River Solid Caramel. Oh, that should be good. No, no, no. <laughs> one man there, one man. Oh, thank you. Right. It's okay, I'm gonna steal one and then I'm gonna. Oh. It's like a penguin. Yeah. It's a penguin. Does anyone wanna try a fruit by the foot? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm not gonna eat it all. It is like a chocolate. So, the proper theory Thank you. for a fruit by the foot is to put like the end in your mouth and then just like. Oh, I'll try it. Okay, I'll do that after. I love it sometimes. <laughs> What is it? Nerds? So just like go for it. Nerds? Yeah. yeah. Gummy cluster in the so Ooh, I might have to try it. I'm gonna eat some of you. Can I have a can I have the Yeah. Can you, can you give me a bit in my in my hand, please? Thank you very much. Yeah, that'll do. That, oh, thank you. Right, I'm gonna try some nerds. <laughs> Well, these are the clusters. No, clusters. Are they better than really normal nuts? Yeah, yeah. there's the squishy in the middle. Oh, I love them. I don't know if I like this that. This is my favorite type of candy. Mm. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks for letting me try it. <laughs> Gingerbread. I like spice Oh, I love it. Right. They're so good. Are they ginger spice? Mm. This is like my favorite. Oh, there's loads. Oh my god, they're massive. Mm. Right. Oh, I like these. Ooh. Love it. You didn't like this. It's good. Thanks. I'm guessing it's just a standard Oreo. She thinks. What do you got there? A gusha. That sounds disgusting. <laughs> Actually, the, the old like commercial said, "Ooh, it's in your mouth." Oh no! <laughs> blue one. Can I have a blue one? Thank you. Blue's my favorite color. I'll have a red one. Yeah, they kind of melted a little. Oh, wasn't it like mess in your uh, mouth, not your hand? Yeah. yeah. That, that was Skittles or M&Ms. That's alright. That's not sour. It's all. It doesn't gush in my mouth. No. <laughs> There's like liquid in the middle. Mm. Okay. I think because it's melted a bit. Yeah. Maybe. You can watch me go get one. Go get one. Oh, oh. <laughs> you got three. Why are you giving me two and yourself one? I don't want to. Let's do it. Interesting. Hmm. I quite like that. What else haven't we tried? <laughs> uh, I'm not a fan of caramel. You like caramel. I do love caramel. It's not open yet though. Uh, am I going to be the one to open it? I love it for daddy. Oh, are you gonna? Are you gonna open it? No, you open it. You open it. <laughs> no, I don't want to open it. Put it back. Look at all our sweets. Look at all those chickens. <laughs> it's my boat. Watch the boom. Oh my gosh! Hi. <laughs> oh wow. I'm scared. I'm gonna do it quickly. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Whoa. Oh gosh, this doesn't feel all that safe. It's pretty stuffy. It's probably sturdy. Yeah, it's so majestic. No. Wow. 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 That looks majestic.
Come on, you can do it. I think a camera's gonna die though, so do it quick. Oh, run, run, run. Run. Oh, <laughs> run. I almost, I almost fell with my shoes on. <laughs> it looks so good. Do I look good? You, you look, look like so a good. <laughs> nah, you kind of look like a knob. I'm not <laughs> <laughs> that was scary. I'm warm. <laughs> quarter to six in the morning we have just woken up and breakfast is already in front of us <laughs> we again have a lot more bread but there's actually pancakes and eggs this morning but because it's quarter to six I don't feel like I want anything <laughs> might have to get a pancake though we'll see but yeah we slept on the Nile we've woken up on the Nile it was very nice did you sleep well I did actually I did too it was really really good but like I said yeah we've Woken up pretty early again, and it seems as though we're heading off soon. So, yeah, very tired, but it was definitely an experience, and I actually had a good night's sleep. Well, as you can see, guys, we are now off the boat. Thankfully, <laughs> I totally interrupted that. Though. Rude. I rude. <laughs> yeah, we're now off the boat. We've made it to Karnak Temple after a five-hour drive. I think on the coach there was no way I was gonna chat to you guys this morning sorry because yeah we were tired we had some breakfast not a lot though we weren't feeling it at half five in the morning but yeah we have now made it to Karnak temple I don't really know what to expect but from the miniature in front of me here it looks huge it's a huge miniature <laughs> so yeah we're just gonna see where Hanny takes us, what he says, and take it all in. So this is what it looks like. And yeah, I reckon we'll be walking around this in a few minutes. And as I said, just taking it all in and learning some more about this place and its history. That's so mean. She stole my ticket. I won't be able to get in without my ticket, but look how nice it is. I was just about to say, guys, pop it in to say that this is, I think, the warmest day. It's so hot and I thought we had to cover up which is why I've worn a black t-shirt and we don't. So yeah, I am suffering already. We're only like two seconds into the walk. Welcome to Epic Rashid, the most holiest part ever around all of Egypt. You cannot imagine yourself being here in this place. This is where Egypt had been ruled from. 500 years. It was the best 500 years we have in our history. When you are talking about Rome, the second. Tutankhamun, Akhenaten, Nefertiti, Nefertari, Ahmes, Tutumoses, Sabtah, Merenbetah, City First, City Second. All these well-known names ruled Egypt from where I'm standing right now. Up to 650 priests serving here. Long time ago. In here, the canal connected the lake to the river Nile. Before any ceremonies, any festivals, you cannot imagine the alabaster industry here and the essence industry in Aswan. Both collected in a huge, massive, you might find the alabaster jars half size of this height of this broken port, being carried on a wooden, wooden wheels till the edge here and all the essence will be thrown in the water. Please excuse the state of me guys, it is disgustingly hot today as I mentioned but we've made it back from the temple, we have checked into our hotel, we are waiting for our bags to get delivered, we're gonna have a quick shower, change and get down to the pool and grab something to eat. Just because it's needed we've been up since what well, like five, half five this morning, so it's currently 25 to two, <laughs> thank you, and yeah we're very very hungry 
and we just want to cool down by the pool as I said so yeah I think most people are getting a buffet for lunch but we're gonna eat something poolside just because I really want something I don't want to say light because I want food but I just don't want the heavy buffet stuff that seems to be everywhere so we're gonna try something different but I thought I'd show you guys the room so this is a sneak peek you can see Ads's face there and her toes there which is very strange <laughs> yeah but I love it <laughs> She's made herself comfortable. But yeah, if you come through here, we have our bathroom. So we have a toilet, a sink, of course. Hello. And then a shower behind the door here. Hopefully this is better than the shower in the last place. That was disgusting. That one didn't really work. I put the water on. It came out kind of yellowy orange, which... Yeah, it was not good and it wasn't powerful at all. I think it was broken so we had to shower in someone else's room basically, which is lovely of them to let us do that, but yeah, definitely inconvenient. So hoping that's better and then yeah, we've got ads that's chilled there. It's a nice room, it's small, but we don't really need anything too big. Our bags are down here as well. We are waiting for the cases though. We basically had to take all of this on the boat, which was the essentials and toiletries and things like that. I have a big bottle of water there as well, a few cans of Coke and things. And yeah, we're just waiting for our cases to come now, but we've got a little desk there, little telly. And then you guys are gonna love this. Look at how cool this hotel is. I absolutely love it. This is the same on our side as well. So yeah, our view is of the reception and then obviously the balconies and they've all got plants on them, which yeah, I just think is amazing. So we've made it to Luxor after a five hour journey. We've seen the temple in, what was it? 34 degree heat? 34. 34 degree heat. I was in a t-shirt because I thought we had to be modest and cover up. Turns out you didn't, which is why I look like a tomato, but <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of gutted because I would have worn a vest top and different trousers or maybe you know at least chub rub shorts but i didn't <laughs> and i'm feeling it so yeah i think an afternoon by the pool is just what we need and then we are also going out to dinner tonight because it's our farewell dinner even though we're not leaving until well not tomorrow the morning after isn't it but so we get a flight back to cairo tomorrow sleep in a hotel yeah. and then yeah that's what it is so we're traveling on. back to cairo tomorrow but tomorrow night so we can't have a farewell dinner on the last night that everyone's here <laughs> and some people are staying at the airport rather than going back to the hotel to then get transferred back to the airport if that makes sense so tonight's the only night we can do our farewell dinner and it's gonna be really sad but we will hopefully be getting some nice food i can't remember what we've ordered but we have pre-ordered and i feel like most people have gone for the same thing because it sounded really good and honey said it was lovely so i will take you guys along for that i will show you the pool area here as well we haven't seen it we don't know what it's like so that will be fun and yeah i'll chat to you guys once we've had time to go through our bags get changed sort ourselves out and head down to the pool right guys feeling a lot better now we've obviously changed we have put sun cream on because we're by the pool and let me show you how fantastic this is you can probably tell behind me but if i swing you around so the hotel is here we've come down to the pool here and next to the pool we have the river nile which is just insane I genuinely can't believe it. This place is one of the most beautiful places I've been and I absolutely love it. I don't want to leave. But yeah, look, this is the Nile. Isn't that crazy? I, I just can't believe it. So we have ordered food. I've gone for a tuna sandwich. So has Ads. And yeah, we're just going to wait for that, eat it, and then go for a dip in the pool. So that is probably the only thing we're going to do this afternoon until we have to meet Hanny at six. But I'll try and film a few bits here and there for you as well because I just think we're going to have a really fun pool day and yeah, we're going to have the best time. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Oh my gosh. So this was five dollars, US dollars, and this looks insane. So this is our tuna sandwich. Very, very happy with the look of this. And yeah, we're just going to tuck right in because I'm hungry. Do it for the vlog. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> we have now made it back from the pool. We've been up for about an hour or so because we needed to get ready for the dinner that we're having tonight. I think I mentioned earlier that we're having a farewell dinner tonight. We still have one full day left and night tomorrow, but we are catching a plane from Luxor back to Cairo. And so, yeah, it just 
makes sense to have it tonight. But as well as that, we are also going to an Egyptian bookstore, which is very exciting. Hani says that it's gonna be a very great store and it's gonna have a lot of souvenirs and stuff as well. So I think we're all very excited to be going there. I have decided that I'm gonna film a separate vlog for that trip though. I will put a few clips in here and there in this video, but if you would like to see an in-depth tour of that bookstore and what I bought, if I do buy anything, which I probably will, then please go ahead and check out that specific video. But yeah, we have made it to Luxor. We were on the Felucca, which was the boat on the Nile, all through yesterday, basically, when we were on there for 20 hours. We got off at around half five, six o'clock in the morning, and then we drove the four or five hours to Luxor, where we went to Karnak Temple, and that was really great. However, it was extremely hot. It was 34 degrees. And yeah, as I've said, now we have just been chilling by the pool, which was definitely needed. I feel like everyone just was knackered. The pool woke us up a bit, though, because it was cold, but not as cold as the one in Aswan, which was lovely. So we all had a swim and then we kind of came out, sat and just chatted for a while until we realized that we probably should get ready. I have had a lot of free time over the last two days and I have managed to read quite a bit. I am now up to page 276 of What the River Knows. I have stopped in the middle of a chapter, which is not like me at all. I am really enjoying it. It's definitely liking it a lot more. I feel like the pacing has picked up a lot in the second half of the book as well. And I only actually have about 130 pages left. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna read more tonight because we have a very, very early start tomorrow. What time do we need to leave here, Jenna? Is it quarter to quarter four in the morning? Four quarter to four in the morning we need to leave here because we are going on a hot air balloon which is going to be such a fantastic experience but I think we've only had one lion this trip and by lion I mean that we were allowed to sleep until like eight. <laughs> All the others have been extremely early starts so yeah I'm not sure how we're going to feel tomorrow. I am going to have this book with me though so that I can read it if I get time. Tomorrow I feel like is another one where we're gonna do a lot of traveling, but we're actually really busy tomorrow, right? I feel like we've got a pretty full on day, which is great, but yeah, I'm just not sure if I will actually get to finish this book then. But we are heading off to the farewell dinner in a sec. And yeah, I feel like it's gonna be a really lovely night. We have pre-ordered our food. I can't actually remember what it was called, do you? Egyptian Fatir. Okay, so we're having an Egyptian fatir, and which one have we gone for? Is it chicken? Chicken, onion, olive, tomato, basil sauce, and Egyptian roomy cheese and mozzarella. That sounds lovely. Hopefully you'll have heard that. If not, I will have like put it on screen somewhere. But yeah, it's basically a phyllo pastry, I yeah. think. Phyllo with... pastry layers with things in there. Ooh, phyllo pastry layers with chicken, veg, cheese, all the good stuff in between. We were gonna go for a stuffed pigeon, but we thought as it's like the last night, we wanted to go for something that we hopefully actually will enjoy. We were also gonna have the stuffed pigeon last night, but they sold out at the restaurant. So something's telling us not to have stuffed pigeon, guys. They also serve camel and yeah, we just, we thought, no, we don't wanna eat camel. So we're not going to, we're just gonna stick with our chicken, but hopefully it's nice. I will obviously take you guys along with me. We actually need to head off pretty soon I feel like because yeah we need to meet up at six it's currently quarter two seven minutes to oh it's seven minutes to right we really need to go so I'm gonna stop waffling on and I will chat to you guys at some point once we're out we've got dinner with a view guys look how nice and obviously dinner with a view here as well yeah cheeky I am the view you are the view <laughs> it's only you that clocked onto what I said anyway so it's fine <laughs> Our meal has arrived and this is what it looks like. It's definitely different than what we thought, but it looks good. And it smells of barbecue sauce as well, so yeah, very excited to dive in. This was an unexpected surprise. We've got Nutella pancakes, possibly. It looks like something chocolatey, which yeah, we're all excited for. So we'll see, what, we'll see if we get more or if we have to fight because <laughs> I want all of this. We've all bought our books to get signed by each other on this trip and we're just doing that now. <laughs> Everyone looks very intense right now. You're all concentrating. But yeah, it's a really cute idea. I reckon Gavin's, you're writing a paragraph there. And yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna show what it, what, no. <laughs> Explicit <laughs> content. <laughs> Everyone else's messages are really nice. We have now made it back to the hotel, guys. It is a late one, so we are gonna be rough tomorrow because it is quarter past nine at night. And yeah, we need to get up at like, wow, well, what time are we leaving? Half three? We need to take our bags out quarter to four. Oh, okay, yeah, so we'll get up about three, which <laughs> I was gonna say isn't too bad. 
it's bad. But it's a sunrise hot air balloon that we're doing tomorrow and I can't believe it. We've also got Valley of the Kings, we've got Colossi Memnon, is it? We've got we've got a lot of stuff tomorrow. Our itinerary is packed. So I am here now to wrap up this vlog. We had a lovely farewell dinner. It was really, really nice though. So yeah, I was extremely full after it. The restaurant itself was lovely. We weren't actually there for that long. And yeah, we signed each other's books as well. However, I of course forgot my book. Of course I did. So I am gonna have people sign this tomorrow when we're at the airport because we're also getting a flight from Luxor back up to Cairo so that we can go to the airport the day after. So I'm gonna do that then. We also went to the bookstore, which was really fun. I'm not gonna show you what I got here. You will have to watch the vlog for that trip. I've gotta space it out, guys. You know, I can't give you too much in one video. I feel like these videos are jam-packed as they are and I did want to film a separate vlog for that just to show you guys the bookstore in Egypt. So as I said, if you'd like to see what I got and and also the Egyptian bookstore, then I would highly recommend checking that one out. I'm not sure if it's gonna be up before this video. I haven't decided the orders that these are going in yet. It was a very spontaneous decision on my part to film a separate video. So whenever it's live, I will leave it in the description box down below. But other than that, I am gonna close off this vlog here. I am filming a separate one for tomorrow because we are so busy. And then the day after that is travel day back home. I genuinely can't believe it. I feel like this trip has flown by, but we have done so, so much. I feel like I need to catch up on my sleep though so I will be glad to go home and obviously to see Kiwi and Tom as well but yeah it's been a fantastic time and I can't believe it's nearly over we've still got such a fantastic day planned tomorrow though and I can't wait for it but yeah as I said we've got a very early start so I am gonna end this video here if you have watched this video all the way through and would like to let me know that you're still here please go ahead and leave me a sailboat as the emoji of the video we spent 20 hours on a felucca guys which is the pharaonic Egyptian sailboat I will say it was one of the highlights it was such an amazing day. I truly did love it. The only thing I didn't love was getting bitten by all the bugs, but the positives outweigh the negatives. So if you are still here but don't have anything in particular that you would like to say, please go ahead and comment that now. I know I say it all the time, but seeing you guys comment the emoji of the video truly does mean the world to me. It blows me away that you guys watch these all the way through. And as well as that, please don't forget to click the like button if you like this video and the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content from me. But that is it for me today, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you soon in my next video. Goodbye.